Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at Bolton Abbey Station. It's been on the M and Bolton Abbey Railway. I've had a great time riding up and down the railway. We've also been on the Hambleton Valley Miniature Railway, but now we're going to go to Bolton Abbey itself. So I'm going to leave the station and we're going to walk, it's about one and a half miles, up to Bolton Abbey. I'm just walking down the path from Bolton Abbey Station. The railway line would have once carried on along there towards Ilkley. Now, there's an interesting structure there. At the start of it, I was thinking, oh, is that a road? But then I realised it's an aqueduct or it's carrying a pipe. There's quite a few pipelines from various reservoirs that head down the valleys supplying water to Bradford. Now, some of them have been, you know, to stop them spoiling the landscape rather than just have a pipe crossing the landscape they've built around them to make them look you know um just a bit more pleasing to the eye so what we're going to do we're going to go down there i can already see a little ruined abbey sign on the other side of the road but first let's just go and have a look at this actually um i've now seen the sign that says bolton abbey so i'm thinking we could go that way, but we can go this way. But anyway, here is this aqueduct. So this can't go on at the gates padlock, but this is carrying a pipe through the landscape. And it just makes it look a bit more pleasing to look at rather than just a pipe. So you've kind of, what well, looks like a bridge, a little river down there, and then it goes under the ground again. The rail line would have been up there. I'm going to carry on walking down here, though, in the direction of Bolt Crowdy. I've just come across the fields and now I'm coming to the village of Bolton Abbey. That's the Devonshire Arms and it's on this side of the wall I was going to show you. It's the kitchen garden. It's really quite pleasant. Always enjoy seeing gardens. Still a bit of a way from the Abbey. I've got to carry on walking up the road but I just wanted to show this little bit here to you, the kitchen gardens. And as I said that's the Devonshire Arms. So um, that's hotel and it's a pub. Might go in there for a pint later. There's the kitchen gardens. And I'm across the road now. We we'll carry on up here. So soon we should be at Bolton Abbey. I've just come down into the Bolton Abbey estate. I believe this is the Abbey House behind me here. If we pan around, you can see the River Wharf, which runs along there. So the Abbey is famous for being in the valley of the River Wharf. Um, it's actually not an abbey though, it's actually Bolton Priory, but it's commonly known as Bolton Abbey. It's an Augustian priory, most of it, you know, followed the usual story, uh, was dissolved, most of it is a ruin, but as we'll see in a moment, a section of it does survive as the local parish church. They used part of the church to become the parish church, which, you know, makes sense, and there's quite a lot of abbeys and priories around where the part of the church, usually the church itself, is the parish church as we come along here there we have in front of us the surviving section of the abbey is the parish church and then you've got the north and south transept and the chancel in ruin so what we'll do we'll go and have a look in what there is of the church and then we'll go and have a look around the ruins and then we'll go down to the river because there's the very famous stepping stones of Bolton Abbey that's the image most people think of when they hear Bolton Abbey there's a helicopter we get our view over there of the beautiful house. So it's a landing on the estate, which is interesting. So here we are. Here is the front of the abbey. This would have been a big tower one, so we're going to go in and go into. Here we have, it's locked beyond here, but I'll show you through there. It's a bit like a church in Hungary, quite often in Hungary you get this, you can get this side of a church. Can't go away, and let's put the camera through, you can see. So, there you go, that's inside the church. Turn the camera around, it looks a bit bright. There is a beautiful window up there, but the sun's shining so brightly through it can't see it so what we'll do we'll go back out the way we came and um, we'll go and have a look around 
the ruins of the of the abbey. So come to here. We've got some quite low walled ruins here. What you see in front of us, where those two ladies are there, that would have been the other side of the cloister. So it's a very small cloister here. Um, you know, some abbeys have a much larger cloister. This is probably one of the smallest cloisters I've ever seen for what would have once been a very big, grand church. So I'm just walking around here, the cloister now. I'm going to take you through that arch. So that's where the chapter house would have been. Well, what I'll do, I'll show you from um, here first. That area there, that was the original chapter house. And then, you know, as they have money, they developed... They built a second chapter house just through here. So we come from here, there's the nave behind us, and the chancel. And this area here would have been the chapter house, it would have been a round building. You can see a polygonal building, you can see where the piers would have gone up. What we're going to do now, we're going to go and see inside the church itself. This is going to be in the south transept. We go back through here into the cloisters. And there we have a section that's used as the local parish church. Walking around here to the cloisters now. Going to go up here. And here we are um, in the south transept. So there's probably been another big ground window there. Not so much down here because there were buildings here. And that's where the chapter house would have been we a couple of little chapels here and then this is the crossing so remember that wall there wouldn't have been there because it would have been one through church all the way through that's looking down the church yeah and that is the north transept so we'll go through now into the north transept and as we come round here we come towards the graveyard of the abbey. I'm just getting my first glimpse of the famous stepping stones. I was thinking about making a video walking across. Um, I'm not going to do that because there's a big queue of people wanting to use the stepping stones. They're a very popular part of the Bolton Abbey estate. So I think what I'll do, I'll show you the stepping stones, but I'm not actually going to walk across them whilst making a video. Down here, we have more of the abbey's graveyard. So what I will do, let's go around here and right around the end of the church now. There you go. How big and grand that window would have been. I don't know what if it's the biggest, but um, certainly one of the biggest I've ever seen. Coming back round to here, so there's the chapter house again. What we'll do, we'll go down towards the river and I'll take you over the river um, on the bridge adjacent to stepping stones so we can go down here now we're looking rather spectacular behind us and there's the graveyard so what I might do when I've finished looking at the abbey I might walk further on up up the valley um, there's some really nice walks to be had in the area so um, there's, a, there's a section of woodland known as the Strid I'm not sure what there is to see there but I believe it's a very deep valley so um, I might head up there haven't quite decided yet I might just when I finish filming get an ice cream I'm not sure um, but here we are here is the river Wah. now I haven't pronounced that right apologies if I'm not there's the very famous stepping stone so you can see there's a lot of people on them so I'm not going to attempt to do them whilst on film um, what I'm going to do is cross the bridge here and let you see the views from the bridge. So there's a bit of a weir here. There's the stepping stones down there. There's the loud weir of the river. Keep going till we get to the other side. So again, there's the stepping stones. So my plan had been, I was thinking I'll walk across there doing the video, but like I said, um, it's not really going to work with all those people there, but it's nice to see 
they're all having such a nice time. And here is that very famous image of the stepping stones with the ruins of Bolton Abbey in the background. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you know, if you're in the area, do do the embassy in Bolton Abbey. Walk down like I did from their car park. It's a lovely place. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, comment. From by the stepping stones at Bolton Abbey, goodbye.